Hey everybody, welcome to my quotient rule video. Uh, the quotient rule is a calculus trick for taking the derivative of a function that has this form. f of x is equal to the ratio of two functions, some g of x divided by h of x. So if you can divide your f function into two functions like this, taking the derivative of it is very straightforward. And that is that f prime of x is equal to h of x times g prime of x minus g of x h prime of x all over h of x squared. That is the quotient rule. Now, I was taught it to say, look, if g is, if we call g the high function and h the low function, then we have low d high minus high d low all over low squared. Low d high minus high d low. I don't know if that'll stick with your memory, but it stuck with me. All over low squared. And there it is. Now, why am I teaching you this? Mine is an economics channel. Well, sometimes we're interested in derivatives of stuff like this. For instance, if we were to look at a situation, let's say utility maximization, where u is equal to x to the alpha times y to the beta, and we had some budget constraint px times x plus py times y equals w. Uh, one thing we get, and I actually solved for this in one of my other videos, is that the optimal level of y is equal to beta w over py times alpha plus beta. Now, what if I am interested in this beta? And specifically, what if I'm interested in the rate at which y star changes when beta changes? There we go. So dy star d beta. Now it's not super easy to see right away because beta is in the numer is in the denominator and the numerator. So as beta gets larger, there is pressure pushing y in either direction. And we're interested in how exactly it changes. So we have to apply our quotient rule. Let's see, g of x, whoops, I'm still in marker mode. So g of beta is equal to beta w. And that means that g prime of beta is just equal to w. And let's do h of beta is equal to py alpha plus py beta. I factored out the py through the parentheses. And that means that h prime of beta is equal to just py. So my derivative then of y with respect to beta is, let's see, what was it? It was low d high, so h times g prime. So py times alpha plus beta times g prime, which is just w, minus high, which is the g, beta w, d low, which was h prime, which is py, low d high minus high d low, all over low squared, which was py squared times alpha plus beta squared. Now, I'm going to skip a little bit of algebra. This thing is going to simplify out to alpha w over py Py times alpha plus beta squared. And so there you have it. That's how you could find the derivative of y with respect to beta, even when beta is on top and bottom in different ways. That's our quotient rule in a nutshell. I hope it was helpful to you, whether you're in econ or in some other class. Um, if not, I don't know, go find a calculus video by someone whose job it is to teach calc. I'm econ. So... Hope it was useful. If not, too bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.